My guest today is Brooke Carrington from Myo Barn in Tadworth in regional New South Wales, Australia. Brooke is a beautiful therapist who treats specifically women who are pregnant and once they've had their babies, she's been able to add all sorts of wonderful things onto her practice where she does baby wearing and she does kanga training and she's really just there to support mums through their, out, their whole journey and transition into motherhood. What I love about Brooke's story is that she's also a mum herself and with what she's been able to create over the last couple of years, she's added many things to her practice and many things, multiple modalities to be able to support these women, including an amazing retreat that she runs in person every year and has done so for the last three years. So she's going to share her story of how that happened, what she kind of, the, the decisions behind that, and also look at you know, really who she's been able to help in that journey as well. I love her ability to be able to connect. She is so good at building connection and rapport with other people and also being able to bring together like-minded and like-hearted people to be able to help women that are going through this particular busy season of their lives. Welcome, Brooke. Hi, Alicia. Thank you so much for inviting me on here. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited to be able to share and dive a little bit deeply into your story. I'd love to hear a little bit about what you do in your business at the moment, because you've got quite a bit of things that you do. I'd love to hear a bit about that. So we, I have my own barn based in Tamworth, New South Wales, and predominantly we support women throughout their pregnancy journey and beyond. So we do that in a few different ways. So I am a qualified remedial massage therapist who then went on to do some further studies in pregnancy and postnatal and infant massage. And then extending that, we also offer Kenga training and an annual health retreat. So we really try and follow people all the way through their journey, even that be pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, and then after. And it's really special and I love it. That's amazing. And it's such a niche uh, being in regional or rural New South Wales. That's a pretty powerful niche to have gone and sort of specialized in. With all of that, why, where were you at, I guess, when we first started working together? Like what were you, where was your business sort of at back then? Yeah, well, you asked me when I actually first started with you and I, I couldn't remember. It's been a little while and I had a little gap in between to have my beautiful babies but when I very first started, I didn't know when it was, but I can tell you that I had just opened my own practice and I wasn't necessarily looking for more clients. I seem to have had enough clients to get me going, but I'm also a person who wanted a lot of goals and structure and accountability. So going, I guess, from a workplace where I worked for someone, there was obviously goals and expectations to then working for myself. I find my, my ideas just were just kind of all up in the air at all times. And I didn't really have a lot of guidance and that was quite frustrating for me. So I hadn't introduced Kanga training or our retreats when I first started. So I was only doing massage and infant massage. So there was a lot of growing with those ideas, bringing them to light. And yeah, I was charging a lot less for my massages. So there's a massive big picture to where I was way back when. Yeah. But, and often that happens, like when we've been working for someone, it's like, you know, obviously, like you said, that that systems and the goals are there and then to step out on their own and kind of go, ah, like there's no one to tell me off if I don't do it right now. There's no one to kind of call me to account. Can be a really great time to get some coaching and get some inspiration to kind of bring those ideas together. Why specifically did you choose us? Like, well, wasn't that massage champions that you were like, I think we'll go with these guys. So I've been following you guys for a little while. So I knew that you were around and I loved the whole image that you brought around massage therapists, but my previous boss actually was in the program with you at the time. So it was just another tick for me to go, I have seen these guys and I know I really like them, but then also knowing someone that was in the program was, was perfect for me. Yeah. And to yeah. Really yeah. See, does this actually work? 100 percent yeah. yeah and to see their transformation and how they were growing and doing things that they wanted to do i guess is awesome yeah definitely and it, like it's good to know there's there's lots of different coaches out there and i think it's important to be able to know yeah, this is actually does it really get in does it actually work does it 
does it well, behind the scenes i'm not sure but then to actually have seen somebody else's journey it's like oh, okay no, that, that makes sense it seems like it's really good yeah for the show it's a massive investment but one that i fully and wholeheartedly believe is that and i'm only a single person my other boss had a whole team so i knew what you would provide would be different to what to what you're providing them but i know that it still worked and i am also super lucky that i'm still friends with them and knew that i also had their support if i was to join the program that i wouldn't be encroaching on them as well yeah nice nice all right so let's talk about what did you actually do once you got into the program um, and obviously, like you said, you were already kind of seeing enough science, so you didn't need lots of marketing help and things like that. What what were some of the things that you implemented? You said, first of all, was your pricing. Maybe talk about where you were to where you are now. Yeah, so I have increased the prices for, in individual treatment for over 30, increased it by $30 now, which is amazing. And also with the group stuff, you know, added value to that also. I... I feel like I don't have a solid answer to exactly what I've implemented because it's really been a growth thing along the way and there's been a lot of things that have happened in between. But obviously raising my prices is amazing. And just to implement the systems, knowing that I was doing it right from the beginning. So you mentioned that I probably didn't need help with marketing, but I also really did. Even though I had the clients in there, I was able to raise my profile in the way that I wanted it to look like and you know, learn to build a website and yeah, get that image the way that I wanted, what, I, what it was like in here, I was able to portray it out and know the right way about doing it. So even though I didn't need the clients, I definitely still needed help with the marketing. Yeah. yeah. And that, that can often happen where we're like, what is marketing and how do I do it? And how do I get what I do in here, like inside of me to then convey that to other people? And that's where having some coaching and guidance can be, you know, make a massive difference, especially because it transposes not just to one-on-one -on -one treatments, but also like in group classes, Kanga training, baby wearing, all that kind of stuff. So talk to us about your annual press pause retreat. That was something that you put together. It was an idea you had. Tell us a bit about what it was like to have the idea and then actually see it through to inception and what it was like to run your first retreat. Yeah, so obviously I love all things about professional and development and I really wanted to bring something like that to our region here. There might have been some, you know, small workshops around those kind of things. An actual weekend retreat with all different wellness therapies were, wasn't here and it wasn't available. And then the nearest one cost a lot of money. So I had this idea that I really wanted to bring all the things that I've learned and gained throughout the years of doing even programs like yourself, I wanted to offer that here. So our first one was three years ago now, and we had 15 people at it and it was amazing. And basically it's a weekend. I have providers there for the entire weekend. So it obviously changes every year, but there's different natural wellness therapies for people to try and hopefully they implement into their life. So then their life becomes greater. And they learn a little bit about themselves. So yeah, it was amazing. And it still is amazing. We've had them every year since. That's incredible. And so what do you charge for these? What's the kind of, cause I think you have a few different prices. What do you charge for a weekend retreat? So on average, they're around $1,300 per ticket. And some people can share, so if people share a room, it obviously comes down, but it doesn't come down much. Usually the baseline is around 1,300. So people, it's still definitely an investment. But we've got a lot of repeat people that come now and guests, which is really beautiful. And it means they're obviously gaining a lot from it. Yeah. And that also means a lot to me also. Yeah. yeah. And so with the providers, how, like, what gave you the idea to kind of collaborate with different providers? Well, as you know, I love collaborating with a lot of other health professionals. We also run some like mums and bubs events, like one day events here. I'm a massive believer that obviously for their own industry that they're really, really good at. And I love collaborating with them because I, I think working together is key and providing village of all different things. Cause what works for one thing for one person may not work for another. And I really feel that that also sets in the industry standard when you have a really, really solid relationship with some other health professionals. They know exactly what you do and you know that you're going to work within your scope of practice and vice versa. 
Yeah. It's so beautiful to be able to connect with other and collaborate with other healthcare professionals. I know sometimes we can, there can be a sense of, but they're my competition. However, when we move through that to realize actually we're all working for the same purpose, you know, like that's really what it's all about is going, well, we're actually all on the same wavelength and to be able to attract like-minded, like-hearted people to care for the same people groups can actually mean the world of difference to clients and the community and their overall pain and stress levels. Yeah, 100%. I couldn't agree more. And I, I feel we have that relationship. There's so many opportunities to have those conversations of, Hey, I actually think you'd, you'd gain a lot from seeing this person. This is what they do. And if you know what they do and you've experienced it firsthand, you, I feel so much more comfortable referring on to that person like that as well. Yeah. And knowing that they, you know, you also can gain that, that relationship with, you know, the person's your center and then we can all work around them to get them the best results possible. Yeah. And that's just so, it's, it's so incredible to be able to, to bring that together every year and yet three years in a row. That's just unbelievable. So what else have you put in place? Like you've obviously had a lot of opportunities to, yeah, like I said, raise prices and to put on this amazing retreat. What are some of the other things that you've done in terms of like systems and creating your business? Well, I guess the biggest thing for me is just how to put it all together and what that looks like, especially when uh, I do, I guess, have a niche and it can be really quite powerful. So when, you know, I've had an idea, it's like, oh, if I wanted to do Kanga training, how would that fit into my business and what would that look like? And would that serve me well? The same with the baby wearing. So it's like this massive big circle that I've got, obviously having, you know, all the booking systems down pat makes the world of difference. I certainly don't have that perfect, but it's a work in progress for me. But I guess the biggest thing is just how it fits within my business and, and knowing how one thing flows onto another. And, you know, you really get to, I don't know, you really get to follow people's journeys throughout a lot. And yeah, that's, that's really super cool for me. What has the journey been like? Because you've been in the program, like I said, like you were here for a couple of years and then you had a break and then you've come back in. What, what have you noticed? What stood what has stood out to you about the tribe of people that you're surrounded by? Oh, I guess there's just no limits really. You know, I'm very much an ideas person and sometimes I don't know how to get those ideas out. And what I love about you most is there is limits. All right, cool. Well, what is your idea? What does that look like? How would that serve you? And then, yeah, if it does serve you, okay, let's do it. How let's figure it out. And you just have a multitude of different brains that you know, all want the same thing for you. Even when we talk about collaborate with other health professionals, your group offers that to in a totally different way. Like, oh, that's a great idea. Or I've done this, or this didn't work well. And having those brains together can be, I don't know, sometimes you can get stuck on something and by simply asking a question, you're no longer stuck. Yeah. And it's easy and they want it all for you. And you're like, oh, cool, thanks. Like, that's amazing. You know, I was really stuck on doing a lot of online stuff when COVID went on and it took me forever to launch. And then it was just, someone was like, well, why don't you do this? And I was like, oh, I could do that. And sometimes just providing that push and is exactly what you need. Yeah. And what about the retreats? You've attended a number of retreats in person and online. What's that experience been like for you? Oh, I just love them. There really aren't any words to express them. You can get, I gained so much from it, both, you know, the motivation and the encouragement from others, but then to have an actual physical plan in front of you to go, oh, hey, I can do this. If I follow these steps, I really can do this. There's no reason or why not. And if I haven't, it's because of me. And there's that accountability that I think is so important. Yeah. And what about with the, because we do monthly planning as well. And sometimes they can be tricky to attend because of kids and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But for you, how has been even just knowing that you need to have something prepared each month, what's that been like for your business? Well, it's, it's game changing. It's game changing for me personally and how I run on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's also game changing for the people in my business and those looking, cause they also have guidance. And I often know if I start to feel a little bit like, oh my God, I've got so much to do, or this is too much. It's often because I haven't done the party planner or I haven't done the planner, you know, then I realize just how important it is. So sometimes I need to fall to go, oh, hey, that actually works. And I really need to sit down and map this out because it's, I don't know, it's the blueprint really. 
yeah yeah and it, it does make you're right like if we if we have all millions of ideas and we feel a bit off track to simply be able to go right what am i doing what's what's step one what's step two what's step three what can i actually do in this situation that can be a massive game changer to the way that our business runs oh for sure and if anyone's like me i've got a to-do list that is so long that i never actually complete it all but you know to really prioritize okay well, what actually needs to get what actually does need to get done and maybe actually not send you know set myself up for failure in having you know 50 different tasks like really just put down those and then it just flows and it's making that step and sometimes i think i get into a thing of like oh my god i have so much to do and then i just don't start because i've got so much to do yeah so by breaking it down starting is the hardest thing yeah and then it's it's really not that daunting once you start yeah yeah and that's that's so important and lots and lots of business owners to get stuck in because we feel like we're like ah, you know we're kind of up to our neck in stuff that as soon as we actually start it's like oh no, actually it's quite manageable and easy and you know like now i know what i'm doing yeah 100 percent. and don't get me wrong i certainly need a lot of improvement in this area you know you mentioned like i've got two little kids there's people that have family this stuff that just comes up but knowing that i've got the right tools to fall back on i guess is is the best and yeah i know where to move forward if i hit that rock bottom yeah and so you've got some pretty exciting plans you and your hubby you're both self-employed and you've put a lot of things in place together you've got some really exciting goals that you're kicking off over the next kind of 12 months to two years do you want to share a bit about what your where your plans are to go next yeah well again talking about how nothing no limits i don't think that we're unique in this situation but my husband myself and our family we're going to pack up everything and travel around australia so i'm going to pack the massage table and in the group we've been talking about what that will look like for me and how it will run but yeah the last few years has really been building up so one of our big dreams of doing a lap around australia with our kids so we're going to be doing that next year it's already ticked off and even simple things like knowing that that's happening my lease is finishing in december and we've got things that it's like well this is happening and we've been able to organize it and i've been being able to liaise with a lot of different people just knowing that that's happening and yeah having the courage to do that and setting up those systems for that all the savings you know everything if you can imagine packing up your house and going it's yeah it's been really cool it's been awesome and i think even to have i mean obviously it was a decision that you guys as a family had made and then knowing the conversations that have happened over a retreat to be able to go, great. So what else do you need to think about? And what else and what else and what else? So although there's probably going to be some chaos when you actually eventually do step out and, you know, start the trip, knowing that you've got as much of that sorted as you can beforehand allows you to actually enjoy the process and really look forward to where you guys are going to go as a family. Yeah, I I just, we, we just can't wait. We're just getting itchy feet now. We wish it was tomorrow, but it's... It's really cool. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, oh, what are you going to do when you come back? And what are you going to do with your business? And all the things that I've learned from the program, I'm so fine with it because I know, I know what I need to do when I come back or wherever we set up, if it's not here, I've got the right tools and I've got the right resources and I've got the right people that I know to reach out to, to make it work again. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, what's starting from scratch You're starting from experience. Yeah. 100%. And I think that that's really valuable in knowing that I've got the confidence to be able to step out and do that. And if I don't, I know who to reach for. Yeah, definitely. So if someone is listening to this and they're thinking, oh, I'm not sure about six big and they're kind of thinking about it, what would you say? Well, well, it's probably bad advice, but don't even think about it and just do it because the rest will happen and you will find yourself in an amazing group learning more than what you could even imagine. Nice work. Thank you so much, Brooke, for your time today. Really appreciate you sharing your story. It's been an absolute delight to see your journey from just starting out to now looking at how you can kind of take everything you've learned and take that with you over the next sort of 12 to 18 months for however long you guys go, knowing that you have so many tools available to you that you can just start up wherever you need to. It's really, really beautiful. Massive well done. And yeah, thank you so much for your time. Beautiful. I'm forever grateful. Thank you.
I trust that what you've heard today has been really helpful. If this is you, if you're thinking, oh, I'd really love to be able to add some different modalities. I really want to be able to, you know, master my marketing. And I know that I need some help with all of this. Then we would love to have a chat with you. If you haven't got an appointment booked with us, then please do so below. Click the link and we would love to, as a team, be able to get on a conversation with you, have a chat to see where you're at and see if or how we can help help you be able to bring that that ideas that you've got to life and really kind of blow some wind into the sails so that your business can really thrive and that you can really enjoy and love the practice that you have.